Hello, my dear student. Today we are going to discuss about a IR spectra problem analysis of four. So we are continuous learning program. We had learned about a IR spectra analysis three, and today we move to the problem number four. So let us see the spectral data. This molecular formula is given to us. Based on this molecular formula. हमें क्या करना होता है वी हैव टू फाइंड द एच डी आई दैट इज हाइड्रोजन डेफिशियंसी इंडेक्स सो इन केस ऑफ हाइड्रोजन डेफिशियंसी इंडेक्स वी कैन से दैट द अकॉर्डिंग टू इक्वेशन टू सी प्लस टू माइनस एच माइनस एक्स प्लस एन डिवाइडेड बाय टू सो बेस्ड ऑन दिस फॉर्मूला 2 into 7 that is 14 plus 2 minus 8 x is not here n also also not available in the formula so according to that that is 8 by 2 that means it is a 4 so this value is 4 most probably if molecule uh, hdi is 4 a chances of aromatic compound is very high uh, chances of aromatic compound is very high it doesn't means that always aromatic compound we have to move the data of ir so from that we come to the conclusion whether it is aromatic or not let us go ahead and see here so from the given data it is given that yes it has this value this value shows uh, aromatic carbon carbon scratching aromatic carbon carbon stretching so the chances is there it could be a uh, aromatic so this indicate carbon sp2h and this indicate carbon sp3h so one could be a ch3 and one can be a carbon double bond h it is shown here around about 3500 where is a broad signal we are getting so confirm that it is a oh now this will a decision making a signal so from that i can say that yes a benzene could be there so one structure ye ho sakta hai this is possibility another structure if i make based on the fragment this is the possibility another fragment is this could be a possibility because almost all these have the same a uh, signal so first we decide which is not possible i can say this structure is not possible because there is not a hydroxyl group if there is no hydroxyl group and we are getting a signal abroad so there is no possibility second thing we are getting a signal broad signal so oh could be so this could be possibility and this could be a possibility so both the structure can be possible now what is the difference here that is very important if we see here then this is a carbon sp2 oh and if we see here then this is carbon sp3 oh so in case of this carbon sp2 oh due to percentage s character is very high so this bond is going to be a strong due to strong bond their wave number is also increase increase wave number because it required a higher energy usko zyada energy chahiye to uske liye hame zyada wave number dena padega so in case of phenolic oh it could be around about 1200 and if it is a aliphatic or we can say aero, uh, aliphatic oh or alcohol then in case of this the that that bond that bond that bond can be easily stretch at 
1100 centimeters is. So based on that values, I can say this is a possibility of a phenolic structure. So from that values of IR and from this data of HDI, I may come to the conclusion that this is a Cresol. I don't know exactly it is orthocresol, metacresol or paracresol. For that we require the NMR but we can come to the conclusion for this, this one. So this is round about uh, 1200, the one value is round about 1200 centimeter inverse. This carbon H, this is round about 2900 centimeter inverse, round about. Here H, so SP2H is round about more than 3000 centimeter inverse. Then this is carbon carbon bond that is round about uh, 1500 centimeter inverse to 1600 centimeter inverse. And this will give the OH that give the broad signal. Not this is exactly this one is this. And this OH is round about 3005 centimeter inverse. So based on that probability, the structure is uh, perfectly correct. So based on that IR spectra also, we can identify a very, very a small structure. But to find a big structure or micro micromolecule structure, we have to understand the concept of NMR as well as mass. So you enjoy the spectroscopical analysis. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Um,